Hello. Um, welcome back to another video. Where today I'm actually doing something that I haven't done before. So I'm gonna split my worm bin. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna open this up. This is the worm bin I have right now. It's um, it's pretty good. There's some water in it though. Let's open it up. Oh my gosh. Well, here we go, opening it up, opening it up. Here's the piece of cardboard, throw it down. And finally, it's a plastic bag. Oh my, oh my gosh. Would you look at that? That is pretty good. We got some red wiggler worms there. Centipedes all over the place. Wow, just thriving alive and thriving let me get some shovels kind of swat away the flies and the other gross things only have the things that we we want so i'm gonna split my worm bin um, i've never really done this before but i've looked at some tutorials and, and some other videos so i would like to go ahead and say thank you to um aj's green topics um, I watched this video on when it is time to split a worm bin, and I found that very helpful on making my ultimate decision on whether or not I, sp I should split. So, thank you to him if he's watching. And my bag's flying. Away. <clears throat> and yeah, I think that so I'm gonna do this after getting all my containers out. I've been storing them in my swarm bin. I have some worm food and then more worm food. So this is all worm food, kitchen scraps. So let's do this. I think the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna layer out the bottom of my worm bin with some worm bedding. So worm bedding would be things like shredded paper and cardboard and things like that. So let me go get some of that. Okay, so I've got my um, worm bedding and my box. I actually decided to move the box lower. So as you can see, it's mostly shredded paper, some ripped up bags, um, kind of for the most part covering the box. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer my kitchen scraps and um, worm, you know, green waste stuff. So mainly vegetables, fruits, things like that into this bin. Um, okay, I'm just gonna kind of dump it in. So we have lots of stuff. Oh, it's a little bit blurry. We have lots of stuff, what the? Sorry, this shouldn't be in here. That that shouldn't be in there. Yeah, should this? I don't know how those got in there, but now we're kind of dumping um, the the kitchen food scraps, and you'll see this one has kind of a, looks like spinach and coffee grounds. So let's also go ahead and dump those into our you know new worm bin. We're just gonna go whoop. Sorry for the bad camera angle, but just dump that in and now I'm gonna get on um, my shovel right here. And I hope I'm doing this right so far, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of try and move this around. Um, I think you'll see you'll see some papers in there that came out of the kitchen scraps, and that's just paper, just paper. So now we have uh, bedding, shredded paper, and we have kitchen scraps. So I think the final step um, is putting the worms in there, and that might be the hardest step. So I'm gonna have to move this down and bring it over here. And I'll try and get some worms and some mostly composted material out of this bin here. 
and into the other bin. So, uh, give me a minute real quick. Okay, and now we have bin number one, bin number two. And I'm gonna try and just take the shovels, shovels, some shovels. I've just been putting in here, try and get worms in here and make a new worm bin. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. Um, I've moved most of the top stuff. So um, we have cardboard and like paper and stuff to the side. And now we gotta find some worms, some good material and just take them, put them in our new bin and hopefully start a new family of worms. So yeah, there you go, got one right there, got two right there. Just gonna put them in our new bin. And um, yeah, I'll come back when this is mostly done. All right, there we go. Moved most of this stuff, or some of the stuff from here into here. And you can see we've got some worms now. We got worms in this bin, finding new places. Um, I tried to be as gentle as I can. And hopefully now they'll start eating all the greens and all the, <laughs> the shredded paper and we will have officially spit our worm in. So, um, basic rundown for this video. Took this bin, I kind of split it in half and I'm making a new new worm colony, so I'll update on that. I'm also gonna feed this bin a little bit of shredded paper and stuff because I haven't fed it in a little bit. And yeah, thank you for watching. Okay, and finally, I would like to say special thanks to two people, um, Mandy Espinosa. I hope I said that right, and I would like to say thank you for subscribing to the channel, and if you would like a shout out at the end of the video, just subscribe, comment, you know, hopefully leave a like if you want, just comment I subscribed and subscribe to our channel, to my channel, and you'll get a shout out. And secondly, AJ's Green Topics for helping me uh, decide if I wanted to split my worm bin or not, and also for subscribing. So thank you for watching, and bye.